The answer is yes. President Joe Biden did, in fact, poop his pants in France the other day. But today, I want to cram a couple of different things into this one episode, y'all, into this podcast. Um, so I got, I want to start off with something current. Mr. Tony Evans, y'all. For those of you who don't know T- Tony Evans, he is a, a minister. I don't really know where, he, where he's out of. Um, I've been in the church for a very, very long time, and I heard him minister years ago. Um, and so I'm, I was a little shocked when I heard he was stepping down. And so, quote unquote, he's stepping down due to sin, as you can see on the screen. It's not really clear what happened. It's not really clear what the actual sin was. But we love that word sin. For some reason, Christians love Christians just love to hear and see when another person falls or if a, if a big minister, a prominent minister or, or, or somebody who the world looked up to sins. I saw a bunch of different people doing some videos about this um, throughout, throughout the week. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm very easygoing. Um, I am a product of the grace of God. I don't point the fingers at nobody. I don't live their life. I ain't trying to live their life. I am the man that needs Jesus. I am the man that needs Jesus every single day. I am the man who cannot pick up a rock and throw it at a glass house because somebody may throw it, throw it back at me. I say that I say that with regards to none of us are perfect in this world. But for some reason, this week I saw everybody opening up their Bibles and going through. And we all know we have no clue what the hell happened. We have no clue. Because they, they're real hush-hush about this. I'm sure at some point in time over the next couple of weeks, somebody's going to turn into a rat. Somebody is definitely going to become a cheese eater, y'all. <laughs> somebody is definitely going to snitch. Some way, some, in some way, shape, or form, mark my words, somebody is going to come out and say exactly what it is. But all we know as of right now is that Mr. Evans, due to sin, uh, Tony Evans steps down due, due to sin. On the news, Tony Evans steps down due to sin. Did he eat an apple? Did he steal something? Dr. Tony Evans steps down from ministry due to sin. The entire world is jumping on this quote unquote sin. Let me tell y'all something. The thing that annoyed me the most about this, watching people sit behind their little desks and, 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 and pull scriptures up online and to justify and, and, and if he did this, and he would. Let me tell y'all something. The Bible says, when a brother be overtaken by a fault, you that be spiritual help to restore. For some reason, we have forgotten about the, the message of grace, the message of forgiveness. And it makes it for some reason, it makes a Christian body just go crazy. That somebody else sinned. It ain't that serious, y'all. It ain't that serious. The fact that the, the fact that so many churches make sin a priority is the issue. The priority of the church is Jesus. And the Bible says that Jesus came to deliver us from sin. So my mind tells me if Jesus came to deliver me from sin, then he knows I'm going to sin. Right? I. That's what it's saying. It's just kind of crazy all these theologians come out and everybody want to point fingers. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, y'all. A couple of weeks ago, I did, a, I did do a video on Pastor Henderson. Uh, what's his name? Keon Henderson. When he told the lady to hush in his church. Hush. Let me see. That's what I do. There. I ain't going to play the whole thing for y'all. It was this one. though. He told a lady... To hush. He told lady to hush. I did do that. Um, I think that, and I, and I wasn't, I guess I was criticizing in that way, but I wasn't biblically saying what he did was wrong. I thought on a moral level, he had every right to do it. I just, I wish he would have did it a different way. Um, and, and Dietrich Haddon, the, uh, I think he's a pastor now too, but the gospel singer, he made a very good point, something I didn't even think about. He was like, while we see this in its effect, we don't know how her, we don't know how it affected her because she's been very quiet. I think she did one interview, um, but she kind of just wants it to fade to black. But we don't know how, was she married? Did she have kids? 
who else was involved? Um, did this action? So anyway, I said this. I just thought there was a better way for him to deal with this particular incident. In the case of Tony, Pastor T Tony Evans, um, man, we have the grace of God. Just forgive. Let it go. For those people who are involved in his ministry, I pray for you guys. I pray for your family. You were not there for the past. Somewhere around the late 70s, early 80s, and we deified ministers. We deified bishops and we deified prophets. Um, I don't know about it now because I'm not really involved in ministry to that level to see, quote unquote, the prophet movement, you know, so forth and so on without really getting deep into it, y'all. I can't get deep. I'm not going to get deep in this particular um, episode. Um, I get it. Church, the black church can be very emotional. And so these people are speaking to you, helping you to change and guard and gain. Listen, at the end of the day, the only thing that really changes our hearts is God's word, that word in our souls. And even when that word is in, in us and the Holy Spirit is in us, we still going to have to work through our, a bunch of our own issues. Always. So anyway, I don't come down on pa Pastor Evans. I pray for my pray for every minister. I've, I've, I have known quite a few ministers who have who have had, have had to step down over the years. I have, I know quite a few personally who had to step down due to a bunch of different situations. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna say this. Um, my wife and I had a ministry um, uh, maybe ten nine years ago now. Um, we had just gotten married. Literally, like, we, we got married one week and started the church the, the next following week. And I was working, and she was working full-time, and we were blending families. And honestly, it just became so overwhelming for me, for me as her husband, um, that I just, we had a conversation. I'm like, babe, I just want to stop. I want to step down. Nothing was wrong. There was no sin. It just was, it happens. It's life. But we deify all these ministers and these pastors and teachers. And don't, and as a, and listen, our pastor is phenomenal. Great man of God. And he'll even say, he ain't God though. Only, there's only one God. Anyway, on to the next topic. Uh, my next thing, my next order of business, I did not notice. My wife told me this yesterday that, that Candace Owens is back. Her podcast is back up and going again. Um, I love to... Um, I'm not an avid watcher of, of, of her podcast. Um, I did have a clip um, when she was on the, the Daily Wire, when she was on the, the Daily Wire that went viral um, a couple of months ago. I think it got about 2.5 million views on TikTok. You know, selling butt plugs with your daughter. I, I don't know. Okay, Maybe you're, you're right. I think it's gross. Right, I think so, it's disgusting. So, and I do not. I, I, it's not the definition of holy in the Christian faith. Talk, and then it did about a million on, on, on YouTube. Just a short. It was it, it was a short. Uh, it blessed me. Nevertheless, uh, I'm happy to see that she's back. Um, she's still under a gag order that I do know. She's still under a gag order. So there's something she can say, some things that she, she cannot say. But in terms of sp supporting our African-American people, and while I believe that we should support each other no matter what it is, I am a firm believer that we, as brothers and sisters, need to continue to support, support one another because it is lacking in the black community. So I hope she does well. I'm sure she'll do well. I think she uploaded a video 23 hours ago. She was already at 500,000 views. She'll do well. She didn't need the Daily Wire. I guess that was she was getting that sh money for, for a hot second. Um, so God bless her. God bless her, her, her family and her husband. Like I said, my wife and I watch her every once in a while. We're not avid watchers of her show. I don't necessarily agree with every single thing she says. But nevertheless, um, I appreciate the stance that she has taken on a lot of issues that people are just afraid to talk about and afraid to shy away from. So, you know, we wish her nothing but the best. But y'all go ahead and... Um, Check her out. For those of you who are supporting who didn't know she was back, I guess if you subscribe to her, you got the notifications, so you already know. I am subscribed to her. I think we're subscribed to her channel. I just didn't know she was back because I'm doing a thousand different things. But lastly, and the most important thing I wanted to talk about this particular episode. Give me a second, y'all. <laughs> we have to address the elephant in the room. It would be so inauthentic. It would be so not Candace if we did not address the elephant in the room. And there's really just no way that we can pick up where we just left off. You know what I mean? We, we can't avoid it. The answer is yes. President Joe Biden did in fact poop his pants in France the other day. The last thing I want to, the last thing I want to talk about in this particular ep episode, y'all, is this right here. 
Um, y'all, Mr. Joe Biden was on stage and pooped on stage. Right here. And his wife had to walk him off stage. <sighs> okay. Y'all can say what the hell y'all want to say about Trump. What looks even worse is a elderly gentleman in front of the public eye having these kind of mishaps. I get it. I respect senior citizens. God bless them. They put a lot of time, and he has put a lot of time and energy in. I just think as our president, it is time for him to step down. Say what y'all want to say about Trump. I don't think Trump is the best candidate. I don't think Trump is a popular candidate. I think that Donald Trump is our default candidate, and he will be the first convicted felon that sits in the Oval Office. Clearly. Um, beyond the massive problems in America, and I know Trump is not even going to be able to, to solve it. Question. Now, if he gets reelected, is it just four more years? Or he gets, does, it start, does it start all over again? He gets eight years. Let me know about that one, y'all. Um, but this is an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment to the entire world. I think a couple of weeks ago, he was um, with the uh, princess, I mean, the, the queen of England, um, Camille, I was going to say Kamala, it's Kamala Harris, um, whatever, the, whatever the queen's name is, <laughs> and he passed gas in front of her. He passed gas in front of her, y'all. And she was disgusted. I think when we start talking about this election, we have to begin to factor these things in. Do we want to see an elderly gentleman like this in front for another four, four more years? Four more years? There's no way in the world that his health is going to continue to stay. It's going to continue to go down. He went to the bathroom in public in front of the entire world. And his wife grabbed his hand and walked him out, put his sunglasses on him and walked him off stage. Come on, y'all. Come on, government. Come on, USA. What the hell are y'all doing? I know y'all. I, listen, this is the little bit that we do know of. I'm not, can you imagine the stuff that we have no clue what's going on behind the scenes? He probably is not, he, he probably is not signing or doing. He's probably being, being told, hopefully by his wife, because at least they're married, what to do every single freaking step of the freaking way. So while Donald Trump may not be the best candidate, at this point, I have no idea what else to do. Listen, listen the interest rate is insane. Um, groceries are insane. Everything, wood is insane. Every, every single price in America right now is off the chain. It's like the moment Joe Biden stepped in office, everybody knew it was a, like, he was a gasoline, and they just threw the match on the fire, and <sighs> that, at least that's what it seems like. The border. He finally signed something for the border. To clo finally close the border. We're about two and a half years too late. The, everybody's already here. People, the money that America was going to give out to the people that crossed the border has already been given out. There's no way to get that money back. And the people that have been paying their taxes have been taxed more than any other country on this freaking planet. Us, the taxpayers, for every single thing that this gentleman has been doing. So, no, I don't think Trump is the best candidate. I think he's the default candidate, but nevertheless, that felon would most definitely have to get my vote. Because this is embarrassing. You know how we look, to the, you know how we look to, to the rest of the world? People are so concerned about the people that storm the freaking Capitol. I don't care no more. I care when it happened right now. I don't care. What I care about is the highest uh, interest rate on these damn credit cards. What I care about is... The interest rate on the mortgages. What I care about is the rent going crazy. What I care about is the stuff that pertains to me and my household. And the reason why we elect all these officials is because we need to have some control of our own personal lives. Mr. Biden, um, this is really embarrassing. Uh, I pray for him. I do. I pray for his family um, because they have a hard road ahead of them. He's on the campaign trail. He barely looks like he's there. He barely looks like he knows where the hell he is, what the hell is going on. It's like they give him a shot of adrenaline and then push him out there to go, sh go shake hands real quick. That's not the way you win an election. 
That's not the way you win a, a damn election, y'all. No. Everywhere he goes, he's passing gas. Everywhere he goes. I got some more. Let me see if I can find this one more. Uh, let me see. It's crazy that this, <laughs> this stuff even comes up a lot. Right here. Right there. Biden farts. I ain't going to play the whole thing, y'all. Right there. Y'all can just see the reaction. Right there. He's stunned. Everybody laughing. He's stunned. Everybody's laughing. Anyway, I said enough. Uh, his, his, his son, Hunter Biden, um, just got convicted of crack cocaine. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me just throw a caveat in here. I grew up in the 80s. I grew up in the 80s. Uh, I grew up in the hood. With a crack epidemic, I grew up in, literally, in the crack epidemic in Elizabeth, New Jersey, North New Jersey. Like every other inner city. When crack hit, it hit big. I was right there. I saw it. I saw them selling and slapping hands. and I saw it. And a lot of them people either died or went to prison for life or served 30, 40 years. Some of them are still in prison to this day. But Mr. Hunter Biden got convicted of crack cocaine and is free as a bird. At least for now, anyway. And gun charges. I'm just saying, America's in, America is in an uproar. We need God. We need Jesus. We need God. We need Jesus all the way. We need him. Thank y'all. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Bye. Something to say. Hey. You got something to say. Hey.